Welcome, people of planet Earth and all planets beyond. I want to make sure, you know. Welcome to Mystery Bag Monday. My little son is here, second oldest, Malachi. He can help us out. Hold on just a second. I want to make sure that there's no, any smudges on there. All right, great. Even better. Fantastic. Nine bags. We've got nine bags today. If you've never watched a Mystery Bag Monday, this is how it goes. I buy these rag bags from a local thrift store. Um, mostly it contains uh, T-shirts. And we hunt these bags, open them up live on camera with you guys, and search them for vintage T-shirts. Um, my apologies if it's a little bit loud. I do have my AC on because it's hot today. Um, it's super hot. Um, but oh, we do. Yesterday. And it was hot yesterday as well. Um, if you want to participate and possibly win one of these T-shirts, uh, check the pinned comment in the chat or in the description below. Uh, that'll take you to a Discord channel where you can read the rules on how to enter. Uh, basically, you find a, a T-shirt on a website like eBay or Poshmark or Depop, whatever. You drop the link in that channel. That enters you in to possibly win that T or to win that T if that T-shirt comes out of one of these nine bags. So. If you want to join it, check it out, join the Discord. Otherwise, we also have some fun times in the Discord as well. So uh, lots of sometimes secret information and uh, information beforehand. So join us there. Um, also, answer questions if anyone wants. If you have questions about vintage clothing, uh, re reselling anything like that, you can drop a question in the chat and we'll uh, do our best to answer it. Uh, there's a lot of uh, other very intelligent guys here in the um uh, guys and gals in the chat and they can help us if i can't anyways thank you guys for being here <clears throat> what's up kelsey what is up rob everybody is in the chat in the chat let's get into it malachi's gonna be with us for one bag and he's gonna go off and do his thing so we've got nine bags and the nba finals are tonight so no uh, nba finals are tonight so we have to kind of move so fairly quickly yeah somebody somebody put it in um What's this? Oh, we got a. Hey, yes, it's twenty five cents. This was at a look. It's at a yard sale. We got a vintage Lucky Brand uh, long sleeve tee. These actually sell okay. I sold one of these out of one of the drag bags not too long ago for like uh, twenty bucks. So we're gonna hold on to that one. <clears throat> but the NBA Finals are tonight. Uh, they so, go to actors if you don't. Know. Yeah, he. They don't know who he is. <laughs> Look at this t-shirt. You want this t-shirt? This Hulk t-shirt? Oh, I thought. Show us them. Oh, I have a. Do you want that t-shirt? I have a Superman t-shirt. Just like that? No, it has like all the super things. You want this one? Mm -hmm. I keep pulling some. <laughs> Just put them right there. Malachi loves finding t-shirts in here too. Now I go to store and we find a couple yeah i'm ready for the game so i'm gonna try to get us out of here by eight o'clock i know i have nine tea, uh bags so it's a lot that's not um that's a lot so uh yeah it's fine it's not a vintage tea. um so we're gonna try to get ourselves out and get to uh the game by eight o'clock and it's gonna be cutting it close for me um i want this what do you want what is it Show it to him. What did you find? We got that uh, Minecraft tee. Is this <clears> a tee? Yeah, it's a Minecraft t-shirt. What? Look at this. Got another got a SpongeBob tee. No. You like, no? You don't like SpongeBob? I guess I have it. You this guess? point out so many. Yeah, there are a lot here, aren't there? I'm going to get so many new clothes. <laughs> As if you need it anymore. You got so many. You get so many because we're all going to thrift stores. All right, so far nothing, in, nothing super interesting outside of that one T-shirt, a Lucky Brand tee. So, um, old guys rule. But we have a nine bags, so uh, we we're, we're bound to hit something. To do. We're at least gonna hit like what we already hit one vintage. One, yeah. At least yeah. two vintage. At least two vintage. Yeah, I think so too. At least mm -hmm. two. If you're if you're an NBA fan, who you got? Warriors or Celtics? Uh, I've been riding with the Celtics this whole time. I'm uh, I've my been boy. With the, Warriors. the Warriors over here. My boy uh, Derek White that started out on the Spurs got traded to um, 
the Celtics, and now he's in the finals, so happy for him. I'm about uh, to go, guys. It's almost done. Your time's almost up. All right. Last T. You want to pull it? Last T for you? Nothing. Nothing. All right. Say goodbye. I just know what's going on. Say goodbye. I'll take this. I'll take this. Say goodbye. Bye, guys. <laughs> See ya. Bye, friends. If Atlantians are watching. I don't think they are. But we'll see. All right. The, the Golden Bridges. <laughs> That's a great name. That's a great name. Like All right. I like the Golden Bridges. Yeah. See you, bud. All right. Bag number two. Getting into it. Yeah, I've got the... I got here. I got some Carhartt tees. More Carhartt tees to add to the giant stack of blank Carhartt tees that I'm... Adding up, look at this, 2XL Carhartt tees all day. All day long. I see Diamond Dan dropped his link in the, in the channel. That's awesome. We've got all kinds of... I just, uh, I just got a... I just landed a buyer for all of our towels that we find in here. Uh, this uh, uh, mechanic shop my buddy works at um he uh he was buying them from us now so no more you know stocking up my own towel supply because we were getting pretty over 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 capacity with uh towels what was everybody's uh thrift week like last week mine was pretty good i enjoyed uh, a lot of the stuff that i found it was pretty fun Surprised by that uh, Planet Earth Skateboards tee. Obviously, if you've not seen the top five thrift finds of the week, check it out on the channel. All right, so we're not finding much today so far. What's that? No. Uh, hopefully, we'll find something. Ten bags. Or nine bags, not ten. Nine bags. What do we got? Porter paints. Nope. Come on now. Let's do so. Let's see something. We got a jerseys tee from like the early 2000s. All right. I took a week off basically so I could catch up on the electronic death pile. Yeah, I feel that. No, this is just a, a high school tee. I feel that for sure. Um, <clears throat> I'm probably going to take this week off a little bit because uh, I've got a lot of, a lot of stuff to list. A lot of stuff to cross post. Oh my goodness. What are you doing, girl? I'm coming in here. You're coming in here? You say hi? With your messy chocolate face? Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> this is Tirza. All right. You want to help finish this bag with me? Yeah. Here. You go take a look. Oh, Daddy. What? Yeah, you're covered in chocolate, girl. You ate a you ate a chocolate ice cream cone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well. All right. We're almost done with this bag. Bag number two. This is one more. There's, well, there's a little more than one more. Yeah. What do you see? What is it? Oh, um, daddy. Yeah, that's not the, we don't want that one. All right, that's the bag. See you later. No. See you later, baby. Whoa. Okay. I feel like it's You want to do one more? All right. <clears throat> garage band. Uh, garage band. Uh, garage sale. Oh, that's I interesting. Basketball. Yeah. Somebody playing basketball and <laughs> oh, we got a, this is not bad. We got a uh, Polo Ralph Lauren uh, little sweater vest made of uh, Italian yarn, size medium. And that'll sell. What do you got there? Oh, it's on the vintage team. Okay. This is nothing. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got. This is the brown one. Oh. You want to pull one out? The blue one, I'll get the brown oh. one. Oh, 
Yeah. Hey, what is this? Oh, it's a Pokemon card. Mm -hmm. It's a baseball card. All right, let's see. <clears throat> All right, see you, Kelsey. Thanks for stopping by. Big Trouble Little China. <laughs> Big Trouble Little China. Oh, my gosh. What a movie. Oh, wow, look at that. What do you got? Do you know what you have? Do you no. know what you have? No, you don't. What is it? It's a Hogwarts, the Harry Potter tea. All right, girl. You gonna help me here? Uh -huh. Otherwise, you need to go. You need to go. Oh, Daddy, a towel. A towel. So we're gonna put the towels right over there. Woohoo! All right, come on. Let's find something. What do you got? Nothing there. This is the red one. Nothing there. It's a red one. Yeah. Nothing there. Oh, a TikTok. <clears throat> How has everyone's sales been? If you're a reseller, how your sales been? This is been a TikTok. A TikTok? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got a clock on it. I, I know. got you. I know what TikToks. Yeah. Oh, check it out. We got a vintage tea on the marina. Oh yeah. That's San Diego. It's got the double, uh, the double cuff and double, double T. That's a dope tea. It's a good size too. Yes, I can, oh, good vintage tea. Inside. Yeah, nothing. Oh, it's in this inside bag. Oh, that's nothing. All right, not bad. Oh, this is oh. a towel. Oh my gosh. This is, this is a towel. All right, hold on. I don't All right, know so where the towels go. this is not terribly old, but can anyone tell what that is? Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it. I can see it. Can anyone guess? Oh, okay, you look at the other side. Motorhead. This is not that old of a tee. This is probably uh, late 90s, early 2000s. But this thing is distressed to impress and incredibly faded. But it is a motorhead tee. That's cool. That's not cool. It's nothing. Yeah. We're finding something. We're finding stuff. What else can we find? Oh. A pink shirt. There you go, girl. Take a pink shirt. I don't like pink shirts. You don't like pink shirts? Well, I do like pink, but I don't like that, that big pink shirt. All right. Because it's too big for me. <clears throat> Just too big for you? All right. Almost done with bag oh. number three. We've got a motorhead tee, a vintage motorhead tee, not a crazy old motorhead tee. I can't oh. see this anymore. Oh, my it out. This says you oh. oh, yeah. Two set out. Nothing there. Yeah, All oh. right. That's it. No, that's more, Daddy. Oh, there's one more? That's two, like, Anthony. Oh, there's two. Look at that. Nothing. All right. All right, kiddo. It's time to go. Oh, yeah. Time to go. Mm. Head on out. We'll, I'll awesome. see you when we're done. Go. Bye. 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 Wait, okay. Bye. 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 Alright, bag number four. <coughs> bag number four. This thing these things are falling apart on me. No. Alright. Let's oh single stitch. Single stitch alert. But it's an Aeropostle. Aeropostle. Single stitch, just uh, just as a PSA. Always got to watch out for them Aeropostale tees, and we got a uh, nothing. What is this? What in the world is this? It's like a dress or a. It's an Oliver print of something, but it's a. Oh, it's like a. I was like a, a nurse, scrubs maybe. I don't know. Nothing interesting. All right, let's see. We're let's see if this guy. We're gonna get more than Motorhead. Is there more Motorhead out there? We've got this old vintage Arizona tea, uh, Arizona jeans tee. <laughs> I'll put all on that. So that stuff is coming back in. I've sold a few things recently that are just kind of that vibe, that same sort of vibe. So uh, that's you know late '90s, early 2000s vibe. Little the little you know little small understated logos and designs. Might be on their way back.
All right. Come on. Where's where's Motorhead's companion t-shirts? That's what I want to know. <clears throat> and we got one Motorhead t-shirt. What else do we have? We got the uh the what is this? Some um, the big tough truck Nashville Super Speedway NASCAR. Can't tell. This is probably early two thousands. It's vintage ish. Vintage ish enough. Yeah, I will probably get some good money for the Motorhead. It's a little bit too faded, and it, I think to get like crazy good money, but you know, I mean. I'm paying pennies on the dollar for these tees, so I'm all right with that. Um, all right, come on, come on. We got five more bags to go. Oh, my gosh. U.S. Olympic. Olympic what? Just USA Olympic. Just a blank uh, tank top. Come on, what do we got here? What is, what is this? Westgate oh, real estate shirt. Got a handful of things from the late or late nineties, early two thousands on some of these Gildan tags. We got a single stitch tie dye tee. Well, I think we Orange Beach, Alabama. I feel like I just pulled another one of these last week in one of the bags. Maybe, maybe I did. I can't remember. Another single stitch tee through the loom. So a rotary, a vintage Rotary Club T-shirt, probably not worth anything. Uh, we'll throw it to the side for now. Outside of it being a single stitch, but it's always good to see that there's some single stitch T-shirts because single stitch tends to be. Ooh, uh, we got another cool one here. Oh wait, what is this? Red Red Pearl N or something. Red Pearl 150. I don't know. That's from 09. I don't know. Anyone? I don't know what that is. Red Pearl N. Red Pearl 150. Oh, well, hold on to it. Looks more interesting at first, but it's not vintage. Not that old. But who knows? It might still be. Might something. Someone might still want it. All right. Down past bag number four. Yeah, the distressed look. I've been selling, surprisingly selling some of these older, just random vintage tie-dye tees for pretty decent money. Yeah, I probably should just lot up any single stitches and just throw them out for like 20, 30 bucks. All right, next bag, bag number five. All right, let's see what else we got here. Come on, where's Motorhead's companion? You got a friend in here? Motorhead? That got put in a different you got separated and got put in a different bag than your than your brother, your brethren. Who knows? Well, anyway, um so what is that? I don't know. Like a oh it's from like it's like from Paris. Um if you haven't seen it yet. There is a secret. Uh, there's a secret video that I released that just dropped it on the Discord about a recent acquisition. Uh, acquisition I just uh, I just got. Um, I'm not ready to publicly sort of talk about it yet and to make a you know big deal about it. But if you want to know what it is and you want to see a little bit of a sneak preview of it, you can check out and join the Discord. And the link to that video is in the Discord. And you can check it out. Um, it's a Levi's piece, and it's a pretty rare Levi's piece, and it's pretty interesting. Um, so pretty excited about it. We are going to do a big major video about all of that, all the stuff that's in that video. Um, but for now, we're just going to, uh, we're just going to uh, sit on it and do our research. I'm actually in conversation, trying to get a conversation with Levi's themselves. Uh, we got a S Illinois State. Vintage-ish T. Let's see. Oh nine, not vintage. Sorry, not vintage. That's why I said ish. It's like, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Lots of just random 
obviously, uh, you know, high school tees, which is super common for us here. That was kind of funny. We got, a, been, I think, an older Sonoma. It's an older Sonoma, like in the 90s. Dude, it's about freedom. That's actually not too bad. It's pretty big, but we'll hold on to it. We got a North Face tee. It's a girl's tee. It's pretty small. Like, it's actually a kid's girl's tee. Um, I don't know if I'll, I'll probably at least hold on to that. Um, you know, throw it up on. Uh, we got Doctor Who, a bunch of girls' tees. Maybe I'll sell a bunch of girls' tees together. Like, pop culture girls' tees. Doctor Who, whatever that thing was. The North Face. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes, you know, you just. You just move on and <laughs> spend your time doing something else. It's not always worth it to spend time and try to sell every little thing. Um, but what a cool Yellowstone tea. Nothing too crazy. Not old either. Lots of blank white teas in this one. Lots and lots of them. We got a Pokemon tea. Kids love Pokemon. They're, one of them will wear that t shirt. If not, they'll give it to their. Cousins who love Pokemon, so lots of plain white tees here. Come on, where's the Motorhead Companion tee? You know he's got to have a friend in here somewhere. There wasn't just one guy didn't donate his clothes and just give away one single Motorhead tee. Well, I mean, it was pretty faded, so maybe, maybe so. Um, maybe, maybe. Who knows? All right, bag number five is almost done. Actually, it is done. Yo, yo, yo! What's up? Mosquito head tea incoming. <laughs> Man, I, I would, I would love that because I would want to know who in this, you know, super small town, country, rural, rural environment is wearing a mosquito head tea. That's what I, that would be so fascinating about that bag number five or six or something. Not entirely sure. All right, right. Right off the bat, we got something. Vintage. Uh, we got North American Outfitters. What's that? Silver Dollar City. Oh, that's like a. This is older. This is like the '90s. Uh, Silver Dollar City is like a uh, 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 theme park, amusement park. Oh. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> I don't drive one of these, but check out this vintage single stitch Chevrolet Chevy. Uh, t-shirt on the Fruit of the Loom Large. This is cool. This is a good one. Real trucks for real men. Chevy. Single stitch all the way around. This is a good one. This is a, this is a good seller right here. It's a good tee. Alright, so the vintage is starting to heat up everybody. Oh! We got another vintage t-shirt. Vintage <laughs> Vintage Jesus tee. Enter his court with praise. Wow. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Talk about Jesus tees. Those that's ridiculous. All right. So we're getting a, we're on a little bit of a this bag seems like it's a little juiced. Oh, it is juiced. Check it out. We got the single stitch crown royalty. Uh crown royalty. Check it out. We're hitting it now. This is a big size too. Uh, size large. Dope. Yeah, we're hitting now. This this is the bag, everybody. This is the bag. Maybe the maybe this is where the uh, maybe this is where the um, Motorhead T-shirt companion is. Oh, look at doubled up. So nice. We got it twice. Two vintage single stitch Crown Royal tees. Sick. Yeah, we're starting to starting to heat up. Oh. Whoa, this is dope. Old screen stars. Old, old screen stars. I'm a blood desar. Blood desar. Single stitch on the really old screen stars. 100% cotton size what, XL. That's sick. Look at that. It's a dope tee. 
All right, so the Vintage Tees are with us. How much do I want for the Crown Royal? I'm not sure. Uh, here, let me hit you up with my email. Let's, we can uh, we can chat offline. You can hit me up, and we'll, we'll work something out. We have an Eve Tech, Vintage Eve Tech, Eddie Bauer tee. I'm not sure that the Eddie Bauer Tech tees are worth, worth a whole lot, but I see more single stitch. All right, so looks like looks like somebody like owned a liquor store and donated all their. Or wait, peach. Maybe this is. Deck you, deck deck I don't know. The original fuzzy navel, single stitch. Sunblock? Maybe that's Sunblock 42? That's not. That must just be a Sunblock tea. I don't know. No, that's not. It's drink. It's a drink. Must be alcoholic. Found Avengers Levi C's main USA. Nice. Yeah. They, there are some serious uh, vintage Levi's teas out there. Uh, we got the Millennium Cohort Study tea. Don't know what that's about. Um... Feeling pretty good. Look, we got another one of those fuzzy, fuzzy navel, or whatever. Must be an alcoholic like drink. All right, what else we got? Come on now. Uh, nothing. This bag is is juiced. Come on, what else can we? Come on. Crown Royalty is definitely the, the, some of the cooler teas so far. Oh, we got a vintage Hanes blank, vintage Hanes heavyweight. That's definitely going to be, we're going to keep that. Looks like we might have a bunch of them. No, no, we don't. We got the Yukon Panama Jack tea. Uh, the Yukon, yeah, the Yukon Jack Panama, Panama uh, Permafrost schnapps vintage tea. So, yeah, we're getting all these alcohol teas. One of the liquor stores cleaned out their closet. Got a, vint a vintage blank there. Nautica. It's a cool Nautica tea. It's just got tons and tons. Of, it's modern. Tons of stains on it back here on the front. All right. Come on. I got another one. So there's, we're doubling up on all these liquor teas. I've sold that tea before. I don't remember what I sold it for, but I sold it... I've sold it once or twice before. <clears throat> Come on. Let's finish this bag out strong. Definitely the best bag of the night so far. Uh, not seeing much left. There's still a few, probably a few T's in here, but not seeing much in the way of vintage tees after those. But come on, Motorhead has got to have a, a friend. If you guys don't, didn't catch it, I have I got this Motorhead tee from like late 90s, early 2000s. I'll show it to you guys in a second once we get through this bag. Nope, nope, nope. Looks like that might be the end. I'm starting to see the end of this bag of tees. Looks like they're all kind of small. What's this? Nope. All right. Uh, there's one more t shirt, and it is. What is it? Air Adventure, not vintage. Yeah, this, yeah Ray, this bag was fire. <laughs> yeah, guys. Uh, I'm happy to do the. the we're going to be doing some more. I've been I've been behind on it, mostly because I'm trying to do I'm trying to get uh, more content per video on some of those educational videos. I am still working on Wrangler. I've got a few questions that I'm still trying to solve before I can do the video, um, but hopefully we'll get it soon. All right, three more bags to go. We have been hitting. We've hit on a few here, so that's pretty good. Maybe we'll hit on some more. And we look like we will. Right off the bat, what, what is this? 
We got a uh, looks like a vintage off the hook tee. Not sure, some sort of surfing tee. It's not that old. Uh, it's probably early 2000s. Got a Nike tee here. I okay, just got a basic gray tag Nike swoosh. We'll hold on to that or Nike check check over stripes, right? Um, we got a. This is actually cool. It's not a vintage tee, but it's a cat tee. So that's pretty dope. I'm actually smelling. I think I smell like a cat cat urine on some of these. It's not, which is uncommon actually. I don't normally get that from here, but um, surprisingly, you would think more teas would, would come out of here smelling real bad, but this tends to smell too bad. Because most of these are just like just teas that they're not gonna they don't have time to process and put out. So what is this? I got another Carhartt tea. <laughs> or like a Henley type shirt. Come on. These are we got some big big teas right here. Bigger sizes. I'm starting to smell. What do we got here? The uh, bike run 2018. No. Nope. Not interested. Fire and Rescue is a little bit older, but I don't think it's old enough or interesting enough to to land. What is this? Another, yeah, another gigantic three XL Carhartt tee. It's giant Carhartt tees. Is this another one? No, no, it's not. I don't think so. Nope. St. John's Bay. All right. I'm starting to lose confidence. This is another car at T. Starting to lose confidence that uh, we're gonna find a a, pit, a match for the uh, another car at T um, for the Motorhead. Be awesome to find some some other. Say, look at this. All this, all these are. Oh, this is not Carhartt. Something else. Uh, see more Carhartt. This is all Carhartt. Some of this smells. See another car. It smells kind of like smoke, so that's not a good sign. It makes it a little bit harder. I'll have to put them outside in the sun. Uh, almost done with this bag. And we'll be off to the next bag. And we got a, little, a few more towels here. All right, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for that bag. That bag was mostly nothing except a bunch of Carhartt tees. So we have two more bags. All right. I have a good feeling about this one. Look at this crazy towel. It's wild. Is it even a towel? It must be an old towel. This looks like very old. This looks like 70s to me. You know, 60s or 70s. All right. We got a purple tee. Right off the bat, it's a jerseys uh, cutoff, Made in USA vintage jerseys with the grid tag. Uh, how does the sun help with smoke smell? Uh, I don't exactly know the science behind it, but the sun like um, it like it causes like the all the particles of smoke and, and soot to kind of break down and lift off. So sun is like my number one. Remedy for smoke smell. Number one remedy for smoke smell. It works almost every time too. So it'll work on shoes. It'll work on jeans. It'll work on shirts. It's my it's it's my favorite for most most smells too. All right. Well, I thought this bag was gonna start ripping because that wild print um old towel but that towel is probably gonna end up staying with me it's not gonna end up in the it's going over to the the, the shop <laughs> what's this <laughs> all right we got a christian tea jesus tea sort of not vintage at all but his love endures for heifer wow wow I have a I have a buyer who's being very rude because I didn't respond to them in less than 15 minutes of life. Yeah, I know. Like, 
I you if you've done this long enough, you've run into one of them. Like they're super annoying, um, super demanding, and it's like you know you're on eBay. You know, eighty percent. Oh, well, this is probably just this is not an actual. This is probably just a uh, Walmart tea. Um, it's like eighty percent of the people on eBay are like part time and 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 you know. Uh, well, that's not appropriate. Um, so it's like, what do you expect? These are all like mom and pops and families and side projects, side hustles. Just ridiculous. Sometimes people get so overly aggressive and demanding. I just want to block them, you know? Um, and maybe that's a good idea. Maybe it's not worth the, maybe it's not worth the sale. What is this? Some sort of. Hawaiian shirt doesn't feel old. Wow, it's faded glory. Okay. All right, we're down to this is the second to last bag. And so far, we've had a few things hit that were pretty dope. We're still waiting and uh but you know, I feel like I feel like there should be one more like much better item. Uh, much better, or, you know, banger piece, but you know, nine bags is a lot, but we have pulled out a, you know, a good number. All right, let's see. What is this? The back porch. Nope. It's like a restaurant, and like, nope. We got a Wendy's tea, not vintage. Uh, uh, this one's the Poshmark. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Poshmark is even, I would say it's even, like, more, like, there are a lot less, like, corporate sellers on, on Poshmark. So it's like, what do you, what do you folks expect? Like, I mean, I do this full time, and I'm not always on top of things. So it's like, man, that's annoying. I I feel your pain. All right, last bag, everybody. I don't know. We moved a little bit quickly through this, but it is the NBA Finals, and I am a big sports fan. So sorry. <laughs> uh, what's this? It's just just a just a tablecloth of some sort. All right. But I hope you guys are going to have a great week, thrifting or not thrifting, whatever you're doing. I know uh, sales for a lot of people are slowing down. Uh, it's been slow for us, too. At least on eBay it has been. Um, uh, picked up a bunch of other uh, sales across other platforms, which, uh, you know, we just started getting back into. What is this? we got a Delta tag. Oh, interesting. Got the Devil's Lure on the vintage Delta tag, uh, but it's the Jesus T type deal. Sin kills, deadly Devil's Lure. Don't fall for the same old line. And I guess it's, I mean, take what you can get. Those aren't my favorite Jesus T's, but, uh, you know, someone might like them. Uh, all right. But there's, that means maybe there's a few older tees. That's probably late 90s on that one. So maybe there's an older tee here. Maybe. Finish off, you know, go out with a bang. When we go out with a bang, what do we got? What is this? Nope, just Air Apostle. Just Air Apostle. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Um, but yeah, sales being down a little bit for people. I mean, recession talk on the horizon, like that's always stressful uh, for eBay resellers, especially those of us who do it full time because I, you know, make my living off of the fact that people have disposable income. And so when people start not spending their disposable income because of, um, concerns about, um, 
uh, concerns about ooh, nope nothing uh, concerns about uh, having disposable income and their job security and you know all that stuff it can be pretty difficult but uh, um, one thing you might notice is if we do end up in a recession you know uh, a few a few months into it you'll probably start seeing a lot of new sellers um, trying to find uh, extra money. What was your best find this week? What was my best find this week? Uh, my best find, <laughs> uh, my best find was probably a vintage skate tee. But if you go join, if you haven't checked out the Discord, I dropped the video on my best. It's probably my best find of all time. Yeah, probably my best find. Though I didn't really technically find it; it kind of found me. Um, you can check that video out. Uh, the full length public video will come out in a couple weeks, but uh, uh, that is all the bags. But you can check it out. It's pretty cool, pretty dope, uh, pretty historic, and incredibly rare. So uh, pretty sweet. All right, let's do a little quick review here, everybody. Starting from the most recent, we have this uh, on the hook vintage surf tee. We got these uh, Jack, a uh, Yukon Jack schnapps. T-shirts, single stitch. I have sold. I have sold these before, so I know that they will sell, or there is a market for them. We have this fuzzy navel. All oh, this is single stitch. I don't know what. It must be another schnapps of some sort, or like a rum or something. Uh, we got two of them. Basically doubled up on all of them. Um. Hey, Randy. Oh, we got that EB Tech. Or that, uh, we got this one. This one's super cool. This vintage blood drive uh, T-shirt on the Screen Stars 80s T, super interesting, super dope, good size too. Um, <clears throat> we got the vintage Crown Royal tees. We doubled up on them in good sizes, size large or XL, I think. Yeah, size large, single stitch. These are dope. Uh, we got the uh, goofy uh, Jesus basketball tee. Enter his court with praise. Ha ha ha. Um, I'm going to wear that tonight. <laughs> we got this dope uh, sh uh, Chevy trucks tee. This one's dope. Single stitch on the fruit of the loom early 90s tag. That's super sick. Um, so, yeah, so far it hasn't been a bad day. This one was probably nothing really interesting. Um, it, this is I should be happy. This was a good day. This was a good day. A lot of, lot of cool tees, a lot of sort of mids for sure. Where is the other one I want to show off? Um, we got that vintage single stitch orange beach tie dye tee. Um, let's see. Where you go? Here it is. Here it is. We got this guy. Here's uh, probably. Oh my gosh, it's so shredded. <laughs> um, this vintage Motorhead tee. I don't know if you guys can see it and make it out, but man, it's shredded. Maybe I'll repair some of it. Um, it has got holes on holes on holes. But uh, this is probably from the late 90s, uh, or it is from the late 90s. We got a San Diego tee. This is pretty dope on the Marino. And uh, that was about it. A couple other random little things. But the vintage tees did pretty good, I think. I'm pretty happy with those. Uh, so super dope. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm not going to take any more of your time because i got to get to this basketball game. Go Celtics. The Warriors have won enough. Let's spread it around. My boy Derek White, let's give him the uh, the uh, MVP. Stay tuned. we got Heat Check coming up this week. Got two editions, the Levi's and this Benjis T-shirts, and uh, hopefully one of uh, another educational how-to video towards the end of the week, maybe on Sunday. Um, and look out for some of the cool videos coming your way about some of the best finds that, best find that I may have ever had. If you want more information, check out the Discord. Link in the description. Uh, you can check out a video that I posted there that's sort of a secret video for uh, those of you that are a little bit more connected to the community. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you later. Peace.